Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Doherty Dozen. It's about 5.45 a.m. And I am getting ready to go grocery shopping for our weekly groceries for our family of 12. It is Zoe's 10th birthday, so I'm hoping to get in and out really quick. This is our menu for the week. It's a super simple menu this week because we're still, you know, getting better from the stomach bug. So I didn't want to make anything elaborate. And then this is my grocery list. I break it down by areas of the store to make my grocery shopping faster. It's definitely a post stomach bug grocery list. Toothbrushes, Lysol. But first, coffee. Totally random life hack that has nothing to do with my shopping vlog, but if you're opening up a new creamer, here's how to do it. Ta-da! Dixie always comes running in for an ice cube. <laughs> yeah, you love your ice cube, huh? Sit. There's your ice cube. There you go. Every single day. Let's go. 6.08, 6.09, not bad. The store opens at six. I like to get here right when it opens. Back before the pandemic, our stores were open 24 hours and I would actually come at three or 4 a.m. every week just so I could get home before the kids woke up. But now I have to come at six because that's what time they open. This is actually one of the reasons I don't shop at Costco more. They don't open until 10 o'clock. Like I need to be home with the kids making breakfast and stuff at eight. So here we are. It is once again snowing in New York. Here we go. I remembered my reusable bags. I'm getting good at that. Cart one. I wanna sanitize the house before everybody comes over today. I'm gonna grab Lysol for that. And then I need to stock up on Microband because we used that Friday to sanitize the house. I need more dryer sheets again. I used to use the free and clear kind, but I feel like at the laundromat, our clothes don't smell as clean. I don't know if that makes sense. So I recently switched to Gain, and I don't know. I feel like our clothes actually smell clean again. I like these smaller bottles. They're just more convenient to bring with me. We went through a lot of disinfecting wipes this week. And here's how you know all of Rochester, New York has the stomach bug. <laughs> The bleach shelf is wiped out. I'll grab this kind, I guess. The party packs for Zoe's birthday did not come with plates. So I'm just going to get a club pack of plates for her party today. I'm gonna get some soft scrub because I wanna bleach out our sinks. I feel like this is <laughs> the stomach bug base kit. I also need cups and more paper towels. I'm making tilapia and mixed vegetable packets for grill night on Wednesday. So I'm gonna grab these foil sheets. Now look, these do not have aluminum in them. So they are food safe. It's okay, I promise. I'm not poisoning my kids with aluminum. I made the executive decision that we're having taco bowls this week because that's my personal favorite. 
On Tuesdays, we often have Nana, Papa, Aunt Kiki, Uncle Eric, and Amelia over for dinner. So I always have to make sure there's plenty of food. So I'm going to get 20 taco bowls. These are the size of an actual, you know, serving bowl. So they're pretty big. We had our first fire pit of the season yesterday. So we used up all of our s'mores stuff that I had in the cabinet. So I need to stock up on that again. I still have a few boxes of graham crackers, so I just needed marshmallows and chocolate. Gotta get chocolate chips. And pumpkin for pumpkin chocolate chip bread every week. I think I'll make muffins for breakfast one morning this week. I usually make one box of chocolate chip muffins and one box of blueberry muffins. So 24 muffins for breakfast. Zoe has requested dirt dessert for her birthday today. If you don't know what that is, I will make a video of it. It's a super cute treat. We just need gummy worms and pudding and Oreos. They are out of the vanilla snack packs, so... Hmm. I could buy a bunch of the little ones or... I guess I'll just have to not be lazy and actually like stir up pudding mix with milk today. And then you crumble up Oreos to look like the dirt on your pudding with the worms. It's so cute. I go through a lot of nutmeg every week. It's pretty much my secret ingredient in everything. I'm making summertime pasta with lemon sauce next Sunday, so I need angel hair pasta for that. I need a bunch of sauce for make your own pizza night. Somehow we went through all our sauce this week. I don't know. And for my homemade Sunday sauce for Zoe's lasagna for dinner on her birthday. And more parm. I need black beans for the taco bowls. Bodie, my five-year-old with autism, is really into these applesauce pouches right now. He's eating a ton of them every day. Now, for a kiddo with his food aversion, I stock up on whatever he's into eating. One of our followers suggested that canned peaches can actually help the stomach bug, so I'm gonna get some of those. I also need mandarin oranges for dinner one night this week. We can easily eat six cans of oranges in one meal. I gotta get more mustard. And of course, olives for Nana. More mayonnaise and ranch. One of our subscribers also told me that albacore tuna has higher levels of mercury. I haven't researched it yet, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and get the non-albacore tuna for James. We went through a lot of Velveeta this week. My kids can eat four boxes of Velveeta in one meal. We make this a lot of times for lunch on the weekends. And they always like to have these little single serve ones to grab and go. This car is getting full. I'm gonna go leave it up front by the manager stand and get another cart. Can't forget my shopping list. 
cart two. I'm gonna get the pastel M&Ms to make this really cute treat that I saw at home with Shannon make. It's like a flower on a pretzel. It'll be cute. They have the family pack of Cheez-Its back in stock this week. Gotta get those for Zoe. Saltines. Bodie has been wanting blue Doritos, so I'm gonna get a few of these variety packs. My kids will eat all the chips that come in these. And I gotta get Brie her muffin bites. These crumb cakes caught my eye. I'm gonna grab these. Zoe has food aversion as well, and I think she might actually eat these. Gotta get more cookies. Bodie totally wiped out our cookie supply this week. And Zoe has requested chicken noodle soup for breakfast on her birthday today. We always let the kids pick the entire menu for the day when it's their birthday. So, okay, chicken noodle soup for 12 it is. I'm gonna get a high quality bone broth um, just to help our stomachs make sure they're healing. I also need a basic chicken broth for my Italian soup this week. Coffee. Cannot forget the coffee. One week I accidentally bought coffee beans instead of grounds, which didn't do too well in our house since we don't have a coffee grinder. Frappuccino for the week. Capri Suns for the week. We still have Sunny D, so I don't need that, but I do need to stock up on juice. We went through a lot of that this week. We really like this cranberry grape kind. We can go through one of these in a day easily. I'm gonna get Gatorade so I can get us all rehydrated. And I'll come back for the bottled water because this cart is getting heavy. I'm not sure if we have candles, so I'm gonna grab these. They'll match Zoe's Animal Crossing theme cake perfectly. I'm gonna leave this up with cart one. And move on to the next cart. Cart three. For our weekly float challenge, I wanna try cream soda with chocolate ice cream this week. We tried it with vanilla, but not with chocolate ice cream yet. We also went through a lot of soda when we had the stomach bug, so I gotta stock up on that too. I need two cases of bottled water this week, one for us and then one to have for the party. I'm also going to get some of the mini bottled waters.
And I don't need much milk this week because we barely went through that at all last week. I'm just gonna grab three gallons of the Green Cap 1% milk. They are out of my caramel macchiato creamer, but that's okay. I just got some at Target the other day. I need Bodie's M&M yogurts. And more of Patrick's SpongeBob Go-Gurts. Here's a cute story. We adopted Patrick when he was 11 years old. Now, chronologically, he was 11, but socially, emotionally, he's more like a toddler. And he really wanted to change his name to SpongeBob. He's obsessed with SpongeBob. I didn't want him to get made fun of. So we settled on SpongeBob's best friend, Patrick. And that is how Patrick picked his new name. Grabbed a few Lunchables, and I can't remember if we have ham at home for Alex and Patrick's sandwiches, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some. It doesn't expire until May. I'd rather have extra than none. Sour cream for the taco bowls. some chip dip for the party today. And sliced cheese for the sandwiches. We are completely out of bread. So I'm gonna grab four loaves of sandwich bread. We are completely out of bagels. <laughs> that was a lot of what my kids ate this week. So I'm going to get four packages of bagels. And I need hamburger buns for pulled pork on Thursday. I think I'm gonna grab some of these muffins for breakfast in case any of the kiddos don't want chicken noodle soup for breakfast. They can just have muffins instead. They are out of lactate, so I'll get that when I go to the pharmacy tomorrow. James and I went through a lot of Tylenol this week. We both actually spiked a 102 fever. So I am going to stock up on this. Now I need new toothbrushes for all 12 of us. Here's something a lot of people don't know. Children who came from neglectful situations often do not know how to brush their teeth. Coupled with a lot of the disorders that some of my kiddos have, they don't have the executive functioning ability or the proper hand muscles to properly brush their teeth. It can make dental hygiene really a tricky situation since obviously it's awkward to brush a brand new to your family's 13 year old's teeth. Um, I have found that these toothbrushes are amazing to give my kids the independence that they need to brush their own teeth. They are pricey, but it's worth it. It vibrates for the full two minutes that they need to brush their teeth and every 30 seconds it pulses to remind them to switch areas of their mouth and go brush in a different area of their mouth. I am not sponsored by them. I'm just telling you, as a mom with kiddos with trauma and disorders, these toothbrushes have really, really helped our family. Now, a few of us don't need the fancy toothbrushes. Um, so... We just get, I like these basic Colgate ones, I think they are. They have like the tongue scrubber on them. So I'll get those for the rest of us.
but actually I don't like the soft bristles. I prefer the medium ones. Bodhi does not like vibrating toothbrushes. So I'm going to grab this double pack of kid toothbrushes for him and Harley. I'm out of my gold bar soap that I like to use. And I'm also out of cotton balls. That is good for cart three. I'm going to leave it up front. Cart four. Okay, this should be my last cart of the day. I'm gonna get some bacon. This bacon is looking super marbly. Uh, that one's good, but yeah, a lot of it's really marbly, and that's just gonna be more grease that I have to clean up, so. These two are good. I need more meatloaf mixed meat which a lot of you have never heard of. So here it is. It's a combination of ground pork, ground beef, and ground veal. And this will completely change the flavor of your homemade meals that have ground beef in them. So I need this for lasagna sauce tonight, as well as the Italian soup tomorrow. I'm making pulled pork this week, but I am not seeing pork shoulder except for these dinky little things and I have to buy the whole shelf of these to feed my family of 12. So I'm going to come back later in the week and see if they have pork shoulders in. Gotta get some more sausage. And tilapia for the fish packets. These fish packets are so easy. You just take frozen mixed veggies, tilapia, chicken broth, and dill, and you just cook it for 20 minutes. It will taste just like chicken because of the chicken broth, so your picky kids are not gonna sit there and say they hate it. I'm not going to get the chicken on my list because my stomach can't handle that right now. On to the produce section. I need a bag of salad. And more bananas. These bananas are looking good today. No brown spots, no lines at the top of the stems. They do seem a little dirty for some reason, but whatever, I can wash that. It's fine. So these will last us a day or two. I need carrots and celery for the soup tomorrow. Kiwi are still not looking good this week. They're squishy, not buying them. Get our spring mix salad for the week. And I have two recipes this week that I need spinach for. Mm -hmm. 
apples. Here's a fun story. For the longest time, I couldn't figure out why our apples had bruises all over them until I saw James carry in the bags of apples one week and he was slamming them down on the floor. That's how they were getting the bruises. Mystery solved. I have a few green apples too. I cannot remember if I bought bay leaves last week. I'm just gonna get them. We are out of peppers. Clementines for Jordan. And they're out of the blood red oranges, so I'll just get the regular navel oranges. I need lemons for the lemon sauce next week. And once our annual vegetable garden is in, I will not have to buy basil anymore. But for this week, I gotta buy basil. Grapes. Some of my kids like red grapes and some of my kids like green grapes. The green grapes are pretty slim pickings today. And over to get the berries. When Bree and Patrick first moved in two years ago, they told me that they hated strawberries. <laughs> and fun fact, they had just never tried them before. They actually love strawberries, but because they had never been exposed to them, they thought they hated them. I had finally gotten them to try them once, yep, and now they love them. blueberries. I rarely buy blackberries. My kids don't care for blackberries. And I'm going to grab some cucumber. I've now been shopping for two hours. It is almost eight o'clock. So that means I can go back and grab the white claw and the beer for the party today. No, not for the kids, for the adults at the party. In New York State, you can't buy alcohol before 8 a.m. So it kind of worked out that grocery shopping took a while today. Gotta get my black cherry white claw. That looks like the only pack, so I'm gonna go in the fridge room and see what else they have in here. Hopefully there's some more black cherry white claw hiding somewhere. And there is, I see you back there. I'm gonna get that and that because I know Aunt Kiki and Uncle Eric are gonna help me drink this today and this week. And I also like the lime flavor too. I have no idea what kind of beer to get. I'm not a beer person. I don't know what kind of beer people drink. Um, I'm gonna get this IPA and just, I, I don't know, hope that that's a good one. Almost done, I just have to grab the ice cream on the way to the register. One container of chocolate ice cream for our float challenge. It looks like I beat the crowd to check out today. So that's amazing.
I don't know where the lid is for my coffee, so I had to leave it in the van. I'm gonna drive up and load up the groceries over here. There's my four carts. And I just found Jordan's missing lunchbox. Okay, that took me two and a half hours. It's 8.30 in the morning, Sunday. I texted Josh when I was checking out. I always text him when I'm checking out so he kind of has like a heads up that I'm coming home with a van full of groceries. And he said only Zoe and Harley are awake. So that is shocking for my family that only two kids out of 10 are awake at 8.30 in the morning. But they did stay up late last night um, we don't really ever have time for video gaming for the younger eight. Um, I mean, the, the two oldest kind of stay up late during the week, so they video game. But the youngest eight go to bed at a decent hour during the week. So they don't have time for any of their electronics during the week. So they load up on that on the weekend. So they were staying up, they were playing their iPads and their Nintendo Switches, and we just let them stay up and play. So they're sleeping in, so that's awesome. Especially because it's going to be a very long day of partying. Uh, Zoe's party is from 12 to three. But <laughs> whenever we do parties, nobody ever leaves at three. Like say whatever time the end is, nobody leaves when it ends. They literally stay until we're going to bed or sleeping. I, that's just always how it is and I don't even care. People just hang out and that's our life. So when I say 12 to three, I know that people aren't gonna leave until probably seven or eight. <laughs> but it's gonna be a fun day. We've got the traveling zoo coming with lizards, snakes, uh, exotic frogs and turtles we're going to it's an animal crossing themed birthday party we're going to have oysters that have um, pearls in them that each of the kids can crack open and see what pearl they get so that's gonna be fun I have not done my hair yet this is just the aftermath of yesterday's curls so I'll do that at some point let's see I've got three and a half hours to get everything done that includes getting the 10 kids and husband ready I don't know if anyone else's husband is like this bless his heart I'll be like there's a birthday party at our house in three and a half hours and then the minute before the party starts he's like well I gotta go take a shower I get asked a lot how I don't feel overwhelmed or stressed out with just like the mundane tasks of momhood um, you know the the grocery shopping the laundry the making dinner and when you've gone through, my husband and I went through nine years of infertility, multiple losses, it gives you a perspective shift and I don't have to make dinner. I don't have to grocery shop for my family. I don't have to do the laundry for my family. Like I get to do that. That's a privilege that for nine years I sat and hoped for and longed for and begged for and prayed for and for nine years I watched people complain and I just thought I would give anything to be a mom and so that perspective is like I get to do this it, it's a privilege that is not lost on me there are so many women out there who are going through infertility, who would love to be up at 6 a.m. grocery shopping for their family if it meant that they were being called mom every single day. So yeah, that's why. That's why I don't get overwhelmed. That's why I don't get stressed. That's why I'm randomly smiling all the time. Um, 
perspective, you know? And if you are one of our subscribers going through infertility, I'm so sorry that you're going through that. And it is nothing that you did. It is not your fault in any way. And it sucks. And I'm sorry that you are experiencing that because it, is, it because it is the loneliest form of grief possible that nobody understands or talks about. So I see you. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are loved. You belong. And I am so proud of you that you get up every single day and you do it all over again every day even though you don't want to. Sometimes I feel bad that, you know, we are that cliche family. The, oh, you adopted and then you got pregnant. You know, I know that's not what happens to everyone. I know that not everyone is even fortunate enough to be able to adopt. So I am very thankful that I get to be a mom to 10 kids every single day. And this had nothing to do with grocery shopping. Well, I guess it did because I get to go grocery shopping. Here's the haul in my van. I'm gonna have Alex and James bring it in real quick for me. So I just had the teenage boys bring everything into the garage and I'll put it all away from here. This is not a super long receipt for us, but the toothbrushes were definitely pricey. So almost 13 22 today. But look, I saved almost $2. I am home. I'm going to put these groceries away as quick as possible so I can spend time with Zoe on her birthday. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are loved. You belong. And I'm so proud of you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.